Hey guys, first a couple days in here on the job on the south side of Chicago, the gut rehab. This will be video number two. Uh, we started to do some of the gutting. So we've got a box truck here, a big 30 yard dumpster, and a bunch of debris already right here. See, we're filling them up. Was hoping to get this done with just one dumpster, but I think I might have to order another one. Uh, so all this stuff was part of an awning. You can see that was right here. You probably see it in the first video that went out to here and down, but it was only shored up with these little skinny dinky posts and some, some ghetto rig stuff going on here. So uh, we had to uh, tear that down. We also uh, taken down our shed back there. Had some more garbage and debris here. We got rid of that. We'll get all this stuff cleaned up here. Sometimes you got to get get dirtier before you get clean. So, we gutted the kitchen. I don't know if you remember, we had that ugly dated tile going around the walls. Cabinets all right here. Cabinets, refrigerator will go there. So, we had to take the drywall out where the um, where all that tile was. We couldn't just take the tile out. Um, we've got a little bit of damage here but nothing too serious we uh we'll make sure we button up all the electrical first you know what you want to do is get rid take care of all the uh, electrical plumbing any hvac at this point that might be in the way uh, or needs to be redone uh, this stuff is all copper so it's it's not too bad i'll look at it from the basement see if we need to run new some new stems up probably not a bad idea to replace some of these old turnstile uh, valves here, put new uh, new regular, new new uh, quarter turn valves on all your water supplies, uh, not a bad idea. We've already got PVC for the drain here, it's pretty nice. Uh, we still got, I gotta go pick up the windows. I've got those uh, are ready to be installed. Uh, so they're ordered on their way. Remember we had that, gross old tile here obviously all that's up we'll put a nice you want to put an underlayment uh dirt rock or um hardy backer on the floor here before you put tile uh, obviously we'll drywall all of this stuff here uh not too much going on in the living room here just some some tools right now we've also gutted the bathroom now if you remember we had a small little vanity here with this this tall cabinet here used to be in the corner here so we've we've ripped all that out remember you come around the side here got your toilet was right here i i you know thought part of me wants to rearrange this bathroom but that's going to turn into a lot of work moving drains around and stuff like that so i think we're going to keep the layout that's that's already here and just put new fresh drywall uh waterproof backing where the shower and we'll put the new tub here uh, when you're at this phase two again, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, you want to get all that stuff buttoned up before you put your drywall in. So what we're going to do here is put a new shower valve in. Even though it's copper, it's still pretty, these are pretty dated systems here. So for, you know, starting at about a hundred bucks on up to a thousand dollars, if you want to go crazy with your shower systems. Uh, you can you can get the parts to replace these pretty affordably. So once you're already into the wall, just replace all your all your plumbing fittings, all your your supplies and shower controls and stuff like that. Um, this stuff looks pretty good here. Again, it's copper already, which is a good sign. We'll just replace these these shut off valves. A lot of times with age, they'll start to leak, and for a few bucks, it's really easy to just swap them out. Uh, we've got some questionable electric here uh, you know something something poking out the hole here oh that's for uh a uh doorbell i think we'll probably just eliminate that now they've got ones that are battery powered and wireless you just or you can just plug them into an outlet uh and that'll be your doorbell instead of having these wires run all over the place look really ugly and dated um also this here goes to a box there and a box there. So you'll see we got this awkward switch right here. 
that's in the middle of the wall. I'm almost positive that goes to a uh, a fan in the in the ceiling to ventilate the the attic area. Uh, we put a new new fan exhaust fan up there for uh, when we tore off the roof. So we'll just I'll just double check that that's what that switch is for. I'm guessing that's a pretty good idea. Uh, our stack looks to be in pretty good shape. No problems there. No issues. That'll be our whip for above our our vanity light there. Um, so nothing nothing too crazy. I mean it's got these like one by framing here, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, you know you got really thin walls here. I mean it's an interior wall, not a big deal. Not seen it before. Not a big deal, but not ideal uh, building methods. Uh, if you remember, you know, you see we've got hardwood through the whole house here. We've got uh, what used to be peel and stick tile. And they had a, an underlayment under the tile. So now you can see I used to have hardwood floors under all of this. But it's got all this, uh, I don't know, some type of glue that is not probably not going to be so easy to take off hoping that i can get it all off or get a belt sander in here sand it all down refinish the floors worst case scenario a quick affordable fix for a bedroom is to put carpet in here uh, i really prefer not to do that but you know you got to weigh cost benefit labor benefit against uh you know I could put carpet in here for a few hundred dollars, or I could spend a couple days sanding, refinishing, doing all that, and spend thousands of dollars. Uh, since this is, uh, you know, you just got to weigh that kind of thing. Uh, now we're into the bedrooms. Nothing really new going on in here. Uh, haven't, there's not much that needs to be, I mean, obviously we've got to refinish floors, paint everything, but no major construction other than we're going to frame out these, uh, these closet doors to, to fit regular standard size closet doors. Um, so that's a lot of the main gut work that's been done so far. Uh, again, we're only a few days into this rehab. It doesn't take a lot of time to get, get stuff going. Um, there's a, this thing is a copper water supply line that just goes to a refrigerator all the way over there. That's obviously not going to go there. Um, I think the basement is pretty much the same other than it's uh, nothing too much down here. Uh, I know it's dark. Still are gross bathrooms, stuff like that. So uh, rehab hasn't started in the basement just yet, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah. I'll be updating some more video as we get stuff going and start putting in a new material. Next few steps are, like I said, get electri any electrical, HVAC, plumbing buttoned up before you put drywall in. Insulation too. We'll want to insulate all of this stuff here. These are exterior walls. You want to insulate everything. Um, we'll button all that stuff up first. Then put drywall waterproof backing and stuff on things and then tile things of that nature so be sure to like subscribe check out our first video there'll be a little link or do somewhere around here uh yeah talk to you soon